Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Rogueland. So, uh, it got patched, and apart from some general bug fixes, the main thing is, a bunch of new uh, items and equipment have been added, but mainly, races, races have finally been made unlockable. So, 50% chance to unlock after reaching level 10. Uh, 5, 10. Uh, after mining ore, 10 items. 5 objectives, I'm not even sure if there are objectives in this game yet. Unlock after chopping 20 trees. A uh, $25 chance of unlock, to unlock after opening 10 chests. I think that's a bit of a typo there. Uh, let's see, 25% chance to unlock after defeating 100 enemies. 50% chance to unlock after harvesting 10 bug spots. 10% chance to unlock after dying. And then the rest are being worked on. Okay, and mainly it seems like it's a stat and slate visual difference. Either way, uh, let's get going. Unfortunately, I had to start over, and I think all of my crafting recipes even are gone. Let me let me double check. Yep, <sighs> that sucks. Either that, or I accidentally wiped my save file when I reformatted my computer. But it was supposed to save all these things, so I'm not entirely sure. Either way, please tell me I still have a sword. Okay, good. So they did also change a couple other things about this game. For starters, uh, they made the rocks significantly less dangerous, way slower, and do less damage, which is actually really nice. Let's see, let's just bring them over here, let's start going on the bug spots. But yeah, my goal here is unlock all the unlock all the races if I can get my if I can get that opportunity. It's not a it's not a high uh like, there's not a whole lot of need for it, especially if, you know, save files are getting wiped. But at the same time, you know, it'd be nice to see what the differences are, just in case there is actually some kind of, like, major benefit to doing so. Okay. I'm definitely getting better at the combat. Swiftness or no swiftness. Accuracy is maybe a little bit suspect, but apart from that, we're okay. Okay. But yeah, a little bit sad that all of my uh, progress got wiped. I'd be totally okay with like all my characters getting wiped, uh, but the the fact that I have to go get all of my crafting recipes the second time around, now that makes me a little bit sad, because I actually did kind of go out of my way to unlock a bunch of them, and I definitely didn't write anything down, thinking that, you know, once they're, once they're unlocked, you don't have to worry about it again. Turns out this is patently false. Oh, I'll figure it out. I mean, I've definitely got a lot better at this game, so it's not... It's not super concerning. I do feel like the hitbox with the sword is a little bit weird when doing some of the strikes. I don't know. Whatever. We'll definitely unlock a race or two by the end of this. I'll probably just grab a bunch of... Re Actually, no. No. I'm, I'm probably going to leave this character alive. Um, and we'll we'll try and farm for the the race you get by dying after a fashion. I don't know when I'll bother unlocking that one. I might just make a really crappy character and then immediately just piss off a bunch of worms and do that, but kind of leave that for the end of the process. Okay. Kind of wish my sword swinging was more of like a bazoo as opposed to a wank, 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 wank noise. Oh well. <laughs> Not the biggest of deals. Okay, so there were there were a couple of uh, racial unlock requirements that seemed out. Okay, that seemed a little bit obscure. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work, but I'm sure I'm sure it'll become clear over time. And ultimately, all this progress is probably going to get wiped. So what do I care? Probably don't care that much at all. All right, uh, let's see. Nothing over there. Ah. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably unlock at least one race from this. Probably the, uh, either tree or herb harvest harvesting one. We're not finding a whole lot of mining nodes, so I, I find it dubious that we'll get that opportunity. Okay. I'd like to kill this horse thing. I am directly inside of it. I mean, I can try pissing off the worm. Usually I save that for later. 
you know, when I've got a little bit more experience and med packs under my belt. The worms aren't terribly dangerous, but I don't like fighting them if I can avoid it. Okay. Surprised I've managed to avoid damage there. Oh, shoot. Nope, nope, we haven't been here yet. Okay. A little map would actually be kind of nice. For the sake of just getting through these places without getting terribly confused. Oh, well. We got a chest, too. Unfortunately, chests tend not to have gear in them anymore. Which makes me a little bit sad. Because it would actually be nice if it had, like, the occasional, like, magical sword or something like that. But I guess then chest farming would become the main way of, uh, the main way of getting gear. As opposed to farming for stuff. I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. I guess maybe if, like, later on chests had, like, really good gear in them. That would make the most amount of sense. Because I do feel like this game could uh, could benefit with more than just like kind of the generic biome thing. I think it would actually be really nice if there was uh, like I'm gonna say a dungeon crawling system, where really realistically dungeon crawling is not exactly the most necessary. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how well this game would lend itself to dungeon crawling. Period. But would add a little bit of flavor. I don't know. I don't even know how it would be done. I guess tighter corridors, more aggressive enemies wandering the halls. Uh, traps. Chests. A boss. This game needs more bosses. I, I can't help but think that this game might have been shunted to early access a little bit too soon. Like, a lot of the Kickstarter backers got their hands on this game very early. Which is fine. I mean, good for them. But I feel like, uh... I feel like it is a bit content sparse, to the point where, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, let's see how much do I have. Get an Orhelcom emblem. Let's get the shroom emblem, it's cheap. Plus, you can't, uh, you can't find shrooms anywhere. They are currently not in the game. You can buy them, but I've yet to figure out how to harvest them in any way, shape, or form. Alright, well, I haven't taken too much damage here. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, leveling up now heals you for 1 HP, which is nice. So you can, uh, you can actually, you can actually heal while out in the field. Not by much, but it helps. Uh, speaking of, what level am I? Level 5. Okay. Let's keep going. I do find the 50% chance to unlock after reaching level 5. I'm not entirely sure how that one is totally supposed to work. My assumption is it's, um... My assumption is, it's, uh, if you reach level 5, that's it. You don't get another chance until you make another character. Which, I guess, is actually pretty fair, considering... Ah, oh, Deuce. At least this isn't the Terraria Worm. That thing was always a pain in the butt. Okay, there we go. Don't want to hit too many of these, though. I'm definitely not prepared for fighting the boss. Uh, Ugarok? Ugarok. Ow! I was pressing 1 instead of Q. Oh, that hurt. Alright. Don't don't make too many more mistakes like that, Wander. That is that is how death very much happens. Yeah, unfortunately, Q and E being the, uh, the primary dodge keys is kind of awkward. It makes sense, but I might almost would... Like, I... I, I maybe would rather it be, uh shift and then you just dodge in the direction uh away from where your cursor is pointing because i could much more easily just press shift to dodge these guys are masters of changing direction on you when you least expect it okay there we go let's put away our sword did i get this thing yet no i didn't okay all oh, right i hit the i hit the creature the eyeball thing and i was like all right well it's time to flee Does these things hurt might not be a terrible idea to hit Ugarok. Uh, kill enough of enough of the worms that Ugarok comes himself. It's not a terrible idea. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. Guess we're getting a lot of mining. So hopefully, hopefully racial unlocks work here. Because after this run, I'm going to go back and we're going to go. Uh, well, see what kind of races we have. I hope the races actually do have special properties. They they used to in uh 
in the original game, in Magicite, uh, some would have, I believe, bonus chances at various things, increased stats, or otherwise. And I think that would be that would be kind of nice. I guess it would kind of invalidate the uh, the starting race, but I guess that's kind of the point. Like the starting race is not supposed to be comparatively viable. I don't know. I hmm. I'm not sure how to think about that in terms of like game design. Like, do you ever do you want to ever have a character class or a character race that is super dumpy? And I guess in this case with uh, permadeath and whatnot, who cares? But, I mean, I don't know, I might want to have blue hair at some point along the way. Uh, I don't personally care, but somebody might grow attached to this visual appearance. Because I'm trying to think, because, like... Oh, shoot, there's... I mean, in Fire Emblem, for example, there's... It's not a race, it's a class. Uh, that's more or less just... I think there are, like, multiple types, actually, of the same class. But it's effectively the, like, ultra novice, but you get to evolve it into something else. Once you fulfill a level requirement, which actually works quite well. Uh, let's see. I don't know. That's an interesting question. How would you? How do? How? How would uh, good game design handle that? I guess really, since this game has permadeath, you can just kind of ignore it because who cares? Damn it! I really need to leave the payday. Steam group. Because, yeah, now, now I've got uh, notifica uh, notifications turned off, except for group events uh, operate independently of it. Steam is not exactly accommodating of YouTubers. I feel like they should actually have, like, a... Not a YouTuber privilege account or anything like that. Although that actually could be kind of neat. Actually, yeah, that that would be ridiculous if uh, Steam started handing out affiliate li links to YouTubers. It would s make small amounts of sense, and it would definitely hurt places like uh, King Kingwin and Goldmine. Uh, come to think of it, I don't even know what Goldmine is. I get a lot of I got a lot of spammers that will come by my Twitch chat and be like, "Yo, you know, uh, you need more money? Just put a link to Goldmine in here." And uh, I don't even know what Goldmine's about. Like, they don't, they don't, they just advertise it as, like, get more money, and I'm like, I don't, I mean, I need more money, that's, that should be obvious, but, uh, but at the same time, that seems, like, hella shady, especially use, like, a bot, instead of, like, actually having somebody contact me about it, and even then, like, I get contacted by, like, numerous people about network offers, and I'm like, no, no, I don't, I don't care about your network, I don't care about any of this stuff, and I've, well... Okay. If I hadn't taken all that damage there, I'd be more confident about this. I am not. Let's go for the, uh, let's go for Mushroom Town. We'll, we'll get out of here. Oh, but let's see what I can unlock. Ooh, look at all these chests. This is good. You guys make the saddest of noises. Oh, he made half of the noise. Oh, I am some kind of dirtbag. But I do it anyway, and semi-gleefully. Because free stuff, right? Zero effort. Still makes me feel kind of dirty. Alright, and let's save our... Let's probably save our money, unless one of these is particularly cheap. Now, we can definitely get uh, tokens for a heck of a lot cheaper than these. Even if I would like to get more of them... I'll get the Flutterfly Emblem. Those are... Those are harder to obtain. Okay. So, let's see. We can do... I honestly don't remember... Which one of these is health potion related? There we go. Okay, so now we can make health packs. Good. Uh... I... Should be fine here. I'm gonna make health packs for the time being. I'd rather get this character up in levels first. Uh, 
That didn't cost me a single eyeball. It's just costing me herbs? Weird, I found a bug. No, it's costing me herbs and flutterflies. But not eyeballs. Weird. That is a... That is a strange bug. Alright, I'm okay with it. And we are, we've we already got a flutterfly token. So we can work with that in a l little bit. And we still have a lot of herb tokens too. Anything else I can tokenize? Not really. That's fine. Okay, and now we've got a lot of HP. There are no other combat ships in this. Uh, let's throw in the things that we have the most of. For now, let's see what I can make. Please be a gun. Nope, that's Aether Blade. Goody. Exactly what I wanted. That didn't work. Oh, that did work. Okay. Mage Gauntlet. Unfortunately, none of these have had particularly good stats. So we're kind of at a bit of a loss. I'll go with the Mage Gauntlet just because. Uh, it has... It's a ranged attack. Okay, so strength. Power with swords and lances, hit points, guns and cannons. Power with certain combat ships, power with gauntlets, and power with staves. Oh, really? So magic is only with uh, with these things. And stave damage is faith-based. Good to know. Well, anyway, let's, um, let's grab this stuff. Shunt it all in here. Because I need, need none of it. Where's my drone? My drone seem to seems to have disappeared off of the uh, off of my bar. That is actually kind of disconcerting. Well, one way or another, let's uh, let's save and quit. Let's see if I've unlocked any new races. Uh, let's see, race wanderer. Okay, I have done no such thing. Huh. All right. Well, let's go back with wander. And let's see what we got. So we've got a ton of health packs. Uh, we'll keep an Aether Blade with us just in case. The Aether Lance is still kind of useless. Uh, I only need a couple of these. I'm just going to store everything else. Okay. Yeah. I'm hoping my drone shows back up. Otherwise, we're going to have to delete this character one way or another. Guess we could always get him killed. We're only going to the Tesla Canyon. Let's drop off... Half of these health packs. Because if we do have to kill this character, then we might as well do it in, uh... I'm not going to say in style, but we might as well do it... Yeah, my drone is gone. Well. That makes this... That makes us quick, I guess. I mean, I can get a bunch of eyeball tokens. That bit should be obvious. Takes a little while. And then we can just wait for Ugarok to show up or something, because what else? Oh, damn it. What else am I going to do here? I guess I could look for treasure chests. But I can't... I can't harvest. Unless I did something to get rid of my drone, I think it just bugged out and disappeared. If that's the case, then we're going to have to put this one on hiatus until the next patch. Cause, uh, man, if I can't, if I can't, uh, if I can only harvest things for the first stage, unless I make like a ton of drones, or I accidentally put it, I could have accidentally put it away, but I don't think I did. I didn't see it in the inventory, and it was definitely floating around with me for a while. So I'm not. Fully certain of this one. This thing takes forever. Uh, might almost be safer for me to use the sword. I am not sure. Oh. Oh, okay. Thought my my weapon had disappeared. For a second there. Gonna be honest, using gauntlets is kind of garbage in this game. I can't wait until these weapons actually do different effects. Because currently, they very much do not. Okay. So yeah, we'll, we'll pop by base, see if I can get any more drones. If not, 
Then I'm stripping this guy nude and, uh, killing him. <sighs> well, we might have a thing or two I can... I might have a th thing or two I can loot in here. But, yeah, we might be sunk otherwise. Yeah, f feels like unless I get a much more powerful mage gauntlet, it's generally not worth me going on my, out of my way to get more of them. Guess it makes some amount of sense. Okay, anything up here? Any treasure chests? Nope. So I'll probably just buy another shroom emblem. That, it was cheap. And I still don't know where to get more. Love the music for this area, it's very, it's very calming. Okay. So, did I leave my drone behind somewhere? Or is it really gone? Um... Near as far as I can tell, it is absolutely gone. Yep. Drone's dead. Alright, well, time to strip... Uh, we've already stripped this guy nude. Let's kill him. I come bearing my sweet succulent flesh. Eat me. Eat me, I say. Let's piss as many of these bastards off as we can. We are completely weaponless. Oh, we can't even go into combat mode like this. Alright, let's see if I can summon Ugarok. I might get killed beforehand. It'll be interesting. Okay, Ugarok has awakened. I have summoned all of the bad things. Oh, hey. We can totally use the portal usage. Never mind. We might as well boost up our portal uses. Ah, this is... this is death. <laughs> oh, interesting. My HP restarted down. Oh! Hey! New race is unlocked. Royalite. Illuminite. Oh. Gecko. And Nomad. Okay, so the only way the only way you actually get to open those up is if you've um if you die. Oh, that's unfortunate. Anyway, the illuminate reside in the chaos system. Let's see. So this is this is a faith based race. So this one's for staves. This one's good at dexterity, strength and dexterity. So geckos might actually be. Probably my primary one to go for. Um, what did nomads have? Tech, I think? Yeah, droid fuel. And then we can also go with the Royalite, which is evenly spaced on dexterity, ma uh, magic, and tech. Which is useless. Okay, let's make a gecko. Uh, do I have any variants? Nope. This doesn't seem to do anything anyway. Uh, I don't have any new uniforms. Alright, well, why don't we call this one... I don't know. I will wander. <laughs> okay, and we still haven't figured out guns, so we want... Why don't we go... Why don't we go strength and vitality for the time being? Just for the... No. Let's, let's put a point into dexterity. I don't even know what these mean. I don't even know if they do anything yet. Well, either way, we've now got... We've get, now got this guy. Now... There is something I can do. If I really want to, and this actually seems kind of like an attractive possibility. If I'm going to lose my, uh... If I'm going to lose my drones, let's stockpile a couple of them. Because you can actually loot them off of, uh... You can actually loot them off of characters. So, before we actually get too far, let's unlock the Ancient, which I believe is the one that you unlock by uh, dying a bunch. Let's check that out. Ancient. Yep, 10% chance to unlock after dying. It is heavy on faith and magic. Alright. I'm gonna go back with Gecko. We'll just name him Wander again. Set these stats, even though I have my have extreme doubts that it actually does anything and single player okay so now we should be able to grab we should be able to grab the second drone here and we might as well put the armor on okay so we've 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 got some um 
we got some drones, we've got a lot of HP. I haven't unlocked any new tokens, go figure. I wasn't exactly gathering stuff. Let's, uh... Let's do one more run with this guy. Not like it really is going to make much of a difference, I think. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's no special properties for each race apart from starting stats. Which I feel like is a bit of a misstep, and I hope... I hope each of them gets some kind of bonus. Whatever it may be. Apart from stats. Because, let's be honest here, starting stats are not that much. And, like, visuals aren't that important either. Some A lot of people care about visuals, but once you get this guy in armor, it's, it's not going to mean a thing. Hello. <laughs> he just comes in out of nowhere. The it didn't look like he fell particularly fast either. Well, no, it didn't feel like he fell slowly. Ow. Alright, let's... Heal up a bit, just for the extra hits. There we go. I could piss off a worm. But I'm not fully confident in that one. Okay. And we've got a pair of, uh, we've got a, a pair of gathering drones this time around. I think I've already got the one for mining, but, yeah, I mean, this just makes it faster. Especially because we've, we've had all of our progress reset. Nah, didn't mean to do that. Oh, God. And I am dead. Damn it, there's all my stuff gone, too. Uh, I really wish enemies couldn't push you along like they do. That is uh, always the most frustrating thing. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we've, I mean, we've unlocked races. Races are a thing. They don't do much, though, so doesn't seem largely necessary. Because, yeah, the, the stat differences aren't that big of a deal. I don't know. It'd be nice if they had special properties, like, you know, the Illuminates have a mining bonus. But actually, that doesn't really make much of a difference either. I don't know. Either way, I will see you guys in the next episode of Roguelands. And as always, thanks for watching.